This is one of the best ways to increase your nitric oxide. And using this little trick in the next two minutes, you can have, according to studies in humans, improved blood pressure and vascular function, improved athletic and mental performance, improved mitochondrial efficiency, as well as bone marrow and immune health. So let's dive into this simple technique that you already know how to do. So a little bit of background information first. On the back of your tongue, you have special bacteria that convert nitrates that we get in food into nitric oxide, which is this special molecule that we want more of. Helps with all those things I just mentioned, especially vasodilation. Uh, and so nit nitric oxide is stored in our sinuses. And the trick is we want to increase the release of these stores. And so how do we do that? Well, we can hum at a low frequency, approximately 130 hertz, which is around a C3 on the piano. That's around 130 hertz. You wanna hum on roughly that pitch, and this creates resonance in the sinuses that according to research will increase the release of the nitric oxide from the sinuses into the nasal passage and then into the body, okay? So here's the protocol. One, close your mouth and breathe through your nose. Two, exhale slowly from your nose on the hum on a pitch of around 130 hertz, which is about C3 on the piano. So step two, and you wanna do this long and slow and feel the vibration in your sinuses around your nose and your eyes. So, and you just let that exhale go for as long as you can and then repeat this for several rounds. After a few rounds, what's gonna happen is it's so effective, it's gonna deplete your nitrous, nitric oxide reserves. And so you wanna take a break and refill them. So how do we, we, we refill the reserves? Well, there's two ways. There's something known as the enterosalivary pathway and something known as the nitric oxide synthase pathway. So number one, enterosalivary pathway. The way to increase nitric oxide via this pathway is to eat nitrates then the bacteria in the mouth will convert it to nitric oxide. That's what we were just talking about. So nitrates naturally occur in, in meat, especially high amounts in cured meats and some green leafy vegetables. Personally, I would just stick with the meat. Okay. The second way to uh, restock your nitric oxide reserves is via the nitric oxide uh, synthase pathway. And so we do this by eating L-arginine uh, and so L-arginine is an amino acid. It's found. It's one of the. It's found in meat. It's because meat is a complete amino acid. Meat has a good quantity of L-arginine in it, and enzymes will convert L-arginine into nitric oxide. Now, one final precaution on what not to do: to reverse all the benefits that we talked about, all you have to do is use antiseptic mouthwash. Okay. So studies show that antibacterial mouthwashes kill the bacteria that we need to convert the nitrates into nitric oxide. And this conversion in the mouth is responsible for like 25% of all our systemic levels of nitric oxide. Super important. All, I mean, studies show people that use antibacterial antiseptic mouthwashes see an acute rise in blood pressure because the nitric oxide plays a crucial role in vasodilation and reducing blood pressure basically not reducing just keeping it where it should be okay so the goal is not to sterilize your oral microbiota okay bacteria play an important role a symbiotic role in keeping our mouths and bodies healthy